Uh, now we move on to the our seventh and last presentation, for which I invite Mr. Kiran Dangwal to take his present to make his presentation on the topic incineration versus spray drying technology for GLND in syrup based or multiple dictionaries. Sir, you have 20 minutes for presentation and five minutes uh, for question and answer. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Uh, Mr. Anurag uh, Goel is presenting the page paper. So welcome, Mr. Anurag. First of all, I would like to thank Stai for giving us an opportunity to express our views on this platform. So today, I'll be presenting this presentation along with my two colleagues, Mr. Niranjan Sastri, who is the head of Boiler Division, and Mr. Anurag Goyal, who is head of marketing for distillery, Sugar and Distillery Division. So in today's discussion, we will be <coughs> presenting incineration versus spray drying technology for zero liquid discharge in syrup based or multi feed distillery operations. So in today's scenario, due to the high demand, increasing high demand of ethanol, most of the distillery operating minimum 300 days operations. To meet these 300 days operation, distilleries are opting for multiple feed minimum two feed stock like molasses or cane syrup or any other source like grain. So, in the, so the target of 20% national wide blending by 2025 is the need of installation of new distillery along with successful and trouble free operation for the existing one distilleries. The Indian distilleries has now shifted to syrup and V heavy module based operation for decade old final molasses operations. Because ethanol demand is increasing, so to meet 300 plus more days operation, the minimum two feed stock like syrup and V heavy molasses are used by most of the distilleries in today's scenario. Proper treatment. Proper treatment of spent wash with complete ZLD still remains an essential part of distillery operation. So mainly for the spent wash, if, uh, if you'll see the spent wash treatment methods, along almost 30, 40 years back, the spent wash generated from distillery was applied to fields for irrigation purpose. Spend was generated from uh, distillery operation was directly sent to the uh, sugarcane farms for the irrigation purpose. But after that, the tech, there there's some technological advantage uh, advancement has done. So slowly it has uh, bio it, it, it has converted from fertility irrigation to biomethylated and composting process. In biomethylated compost biomethylated process. Mainly the spent was generated through distillery operations are treated in a biogas plant where the BOD and COD levels coming down. But yes, of course, the quantity of spent was remaining same. Uh, what it was at the feed level, the same quantity is not going to reduce during the biomethylated operation. Then after that, it because uh, after biomethylated, biomethylated process, the spent was going for composting. So composting generally plasmid from sugar factory. Uh, the bio uh, biomethylated spent was is mixed with that, and it is le left for 45, 50 days to get it decomposed. So it was requiring a lot of land requirement to handle this quantity of spent was. So the another development came into the picture. So this biomethylated spent was is treated in a evaporator where the spent was is concentrated to 30% solids. So quantity of spent was get reduced. So requirement of area for this, uh, for the composting purpose is reduced. 
but this was not these all two uh, technologies was not a solution for jet led solutions zero liquid discharge because there was a lot of seepage problem for irrigation there was a problem and for even for biomethylator and composting it was not considered as zero liquid discharge so slowly technology uh, development taken into further stages now there was two now two technologies are available one is trying spent was is tried in a rotary dryer or and another mean this the, the another method of treating the spent was to make it zero liquid discharge in insulation boiler so insulation boiler the most effective and proven method of spent was treatment the first conceptualization take place around 2007 and 2008 after a number of initial install installations and technology improvement insulation boiler are extensively adopted by indian ethanol industry from 2015 onwards raw spent was is for this raw spent was is concentrated in multi pulse effective operator system to concentrate it 56 to 60% weight by weight solids and after concentrating it is fired into the boiler furnace along with single support fuel such as bag gas can be used rice husk can be used or coal can be used as a support fuel condensate generated from evaporation is treated in condensate processing unit which is recycled back for the process or cooling tower makeup which reduces the requirement of fresh water so waste to energy if you see a, comp a comparison in the spray drying up given a spray drying up and uh, insulation boiler comparison and the spray drying is based on uh, steam utilized spray dryers so insulation boilers if you will see self sufficient system meeting the demand of steam and power for the process and utilities for distillery operation spray drying process requires additional steam and power over and above the consumption of process thereafter increasing the boiler and power plant capacities major fuel for boiler is effluent concentrated effluent itself which minimize the need of bagas or any support fuel for the meeting the requirement of distillery operation in the spray drying operations the fuel demand for the boiler is bad with 100% bagas rice husk or coal in case of insulator energy value of spent was is utilized to the complete extent and in case of spray drying no energy is gained out of spent was as it is completely dried in case of insulator the raw spent was is first concentrated in multi pull effect evaporator up to 56 to 60% solids and in spray drying this process also require the concentration up to 45% hence spray dry also involved spent was evaporation for the insulator boiler multi feed evaporator require steam to concentrate spent was up to 56 to 60% solids before feeding it to boiler and in case of spray drying also evaporation up to 45 or in some cases it is 50% as well followed by dryer system steam dryer steam driven dryer system require high amount of steam and power an insulator boiler can be operated on any mode that it is having a flexibility to operate on the syrup be heavy molasses final molasses and grain as well but in case of spray drying the if we are running be on the be heavy or final molasses the spray dry, drying duty of dryers heavily increases therefore making it economically only for the syrup mode operation in the case of insulator boiler boiler has to be designed for the basis of maximum stop uh, slop firing because if you are using multiple feed options like syrup be heavy molasses or final molasses which is called c molasses in this case the slop generation will be maximum for the c molasses and then it then for the be heavy and it will be minimum for the syrup operations so boiler insulator boiler to be designed 
for maximum slope firing. So it can make so in, in, the, in the case of C operation also it will run perfectly and it will be completely ZLD. In case of grain boiler can be completely operated on any available fuel like bagasse, rice husk or coal. In case of a spray dryer running a distillery on only one feed stock is not feasible option at present scenario because this study is nowadays almost running more than 300 330 days so one single feed stock will be not available for uh, meeting this requirement of 300 330 days operation spent wash powder is highly hygroscopic and hence it has a low, low self life as is as is easy to handle and use having a high self life in case of insulator boiler So we have made a typical 100 KLPT distillery analysis. Following is the comparison. If we are operating distillery on syrup mode, then these are the particulars. Distillery production capacity will be the 100, 100 KLPD for insulator case and the same capacity for the spray drying. This spray drying is on the steam driven spray drying. The syrup solids in the both the cases, is, it is 50 bricks. And the fermentable sugar, it is also going to remain same, 46% weight by weight. The syrup required for the operation of 100 KLPD distillery will be 377 ton per day in both the cases, in the case of insulator boiler or a spray drying. The spent was to the evaporation. The generated spent was to the evaporation. It is going to be the same in the both the cases, 302 ton per day. In the both the cases, in the cases case of insulator or spray drying, and you will see the total spent was feed to the evaporator. In case of insulator, it will be three seven nine. In case of spray drying, it will be three seven four. The difference is because of the RO reject, we are not getting in case of spray drying. Solid content in the feed, it is go going to be three point three five and three uh, three point three eight respectively. Uh, evaporation product solid uh, concentration we are getting for this insulator we have to maintain 60 percent or for the case of spray drying 45 percent evaporation product we are getting 21 ton per day in case of insulator in case of spray drying we are getting 28 ton evaporation duty respectively 358 and 346 ton per day number of effect in the both cases for the evaporation we are utilizing five effect steam Consumption for the evaporating the spent was in case of insulator it will be 3.43 ton and it and it per hour and in case of spray drying it will be 3.31 3.1 ton per hour total additional steam consumption including evap evaporation plus drying in case of uh, insulator boil only operation we are using so steam is, is steam consumed will be 3.43 ton. And for in case of spray drying, we are using evaporation as well as uh, utilizing steam for the drying of uh, in the spray dryer. So it will be 4.5 ton. If you'll see the difference in the steam consumption in the both the cases in case of incinerator boiler and spray drying, the percentage of steam consumption is higher in case of spray drying is around 32 uh, percent. Now the same case for the BIV BIV of uh, molasses operations. The capacity of the plant is same 100 kLPD. The bricks of molasses. So that I'm skipping. So total feed to the evaporator will be 803. And uh, in case of it will be 801. And steam what we are using for the evaporation is 5.83 and for uh, 5.13 in case of spray drying. And the uh, total steam we are consuming for the evaporation plus steam driven spray drying respectively 5.83 and 16.53 ton. So steam consumption in case of spread, steam driven spray drying it is going to be 183% higher than insulator boiler. Now, if you'll see the economics, capacity is same 100 KLPD, number of days operation uh, for the syrup 160, 170 for the BIB in the both the cases, daily concentration of spent was we are getting 21, in case of BIB 195, in case of spread time 28, 259. Daily spent was powder. We are not going to get any powder in the case of insulator. In drier case, we are going to get in syrup operation 14 ton per day and 130 ton per day. 
and steam slob, steam from the slops we are going to get in case of insulator around 1.5 ton in case of syrup and 14 ton in case of uh, b heavy operation so total process steam requirement insulator boiler it will be 20 in case of insulator boiler 20 12.9 and 15.9 in case of syrup it is 14 and 26.6 uh, boiler running capacity is 20 20 25 ton because the steam is extra steam is needed for spread rank so 25 and 30 tons respectively steam from bagasse 2.2 2.2 all the cases bagasse uh, firing 8 ton it is required in the case of syrup 3 in the case of b heavy because uh, slops we are running into the boiler in case of uh, syrup drying, we are going to get uh, our uh, need of bagasse is 11 10 and 14 10 respectively. So, daily bagasse consumption is going to be uh, 202. In case of syrup, be heavy, it will be 60, 66. In case of spread drying, the syrup case 273. And in case of be heavy, 327. So, annual bagasse requirement respectively 43,000 approximately and 99,000 in case of spray drying. Rate of bagasse we have assumed around 2,500 rupees per ton in the both the cases. So annual bagasse cost for the insulator boiler case it will be 10.9 crores. And case of steam driven uh, spray dryer it will be 24.8. So if you'll see the total, if you'll take the uh, uh, selling powder rate and other consideration, uh, the rate of um, in case of uh, uh, boiler as the rate we are taking 2000 rupees so difference in the expenditure it is almost 5.7 per year we are getting so now i'll make the conclusion insulator boiler is a proven technology and has been widely accept accepted by ethanol industry with around 100 running installation around the nation and abroad in recent year Ischek has done more than 40 installations in India and abroad, running successfully with complete JLD and more than 120 days continuous operation of the uh, boiler. With the ever-changing market scenario of ethanol in terms of feed stock uses, government policies, feed stock-wise product rate and their revisions and the dependency on the sector on ethanol business, incinerator boiler can serve to be the best technology in terms of flexibility and operational ease of true JLD. Thank you very much. And Jai Hind. Whether spray drying process is approved by the Pollution Control Board. Yes, spray drying is also approved. It is approved by the Pollution Control Board. And Another question is, as a JLD sugar molasses and sugar syrup based distilleries, a combination of biocomposting for syrup and insulation method for boiler should be practical proposal. Why to balance the plus Yeah, this combination, combination can be made. Combination can be made uh, for this if syrup they want to use the composting if they have the available area because composting uh, yes of course in uh, in the case of syrup operation the spent wash generation will be less area requirement for composting will be less but still boy if you are burning everything in boiler that will be a better option and yes for the syrup small either a small spreader or a composting if land is available nearby a distillery area While using 30 to 30 percent syrup bricks to the ethanol production, no, this is not. Yeah, these are the two points related to insulator boiler and spray drying in the Q and A. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, Thanks thank a lot, much. Sir. Over to Raskar, sir. Thank you, Mr. Karan Dangwar and Mr. Niranjan Shastri. You have selected the important topic for achieving the targets JLD and 300 days operation. You have tried to give option for the incineration, that is the spray dry, but still a lot of work has to be done on this topic to achieve the feasibility. Thank you very much.